What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and if you are be sure to press the like button otherwise no joke no scam whatsoever. You're gonna get punched in the face by an angry man screaming give me back my phone when it's been your phone the entire time and you don't want that to happen so press the like button. Real talk though guys today I've got a story time about a time a teacher stole my phone and then tried to deny it when I pressed him about it and uh, you know that's just straight up not cool. I don't think educating should be stealing from their students, but apparently that just is what happens sometimes. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video because it's time to get that content rolling. <clears throat> it's, 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 okay, it's not good. Nice rack in her ass Brazilian Just turned 21 but my bank's a million Swear I'm a little drunk but it's a hell of a feeling Alright, what's poppin' and oppin' ladies and gentlemen? One thing that I've never understood why people steal in the 21st century is cell phones because I feel like literally everybody and their mom already has one but apparently one of my teachers just didn't get the memo and like tried to claim that my phone was theirs and just looked real stupid I'm not really sure what their plan was but uh, yeah it takes place in middle school which actually makes it even worse because like stealing a phone from a high schooler you know at least at that point that takes some effort but just taking a phone from like a 13 year old is just ridiculous so regardless this story takes place in seventh grade and uh, I was just doing my thing vibing and it was right when smartphones were becoming normal I'm a little bit older than most of you so like I had a smartphone but it was one of those first generation androids with the screens that were like basically plastic you know they they really suck to touch the batteries would be dead in an hour it was a really garbage phone but that being said said it was a smartphone which at the time was still relatively new like I think the iPhone 4 was coming out that year in terms of the smartphone game so it was pretty new and I had saved up all summer to buy it with my own money I had been working odd jobs I had taken the money I had gotten from like selling sodas and whatnot and I had decided to buy this smartphone and get myself a cell phone plan so I had gotten it and I was very hyped and I had taken it to school and sure enough because I'm in seventh grade I'm a little bit stupid so I'm like using it in class which I don't recommend okay I shouldn't have been doing it I'm not gonna lie but my teacher at the time walks up behind me and asks me what I'm doing and I'm not even kidding when I say I was scrolling through iFunny that like dead meme app so I, I was scrolling through iFunny he's like what are you doing I'm like looking at memes and he asked me he's like is that a smartphone and I said yeah and the teacher was a little bit older he was like in his mid 50s maybe so he was really mesmerized by smart technology homie was like I stormed the beaches of Normandy and now you have a tablet in your pocket Rah! you know just one of those really old men so he gives me this lecture about how irresponsible it is for me to have that technology and da 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 and I'm like yeah whatever and then he says that he's gonna be taking my phone so I gave him my phone because I didn't think he was gonna try to keep it and I didn't want there to be any more trouble like I wasn't trying to disrupt the class I was just being stupid and I knew if I got caught they were gonna take it so like I really wasn't allowing myself to get mad about it cuz eh, if I break the rules and get caught that's kind of on me you know like I really can't get mad about it so sure enough he takes my phone and I'm expecting to get it back at the end of the day because you know that's usually what teachers would do when they would take phones in other classes so the whole day I'm bored you know I'm not on my smartphone that I was hyped for and sure enough that's the only phone I have so I can't call my mom and tell her anything like which I guess I didn't need to do that. That's just me coming up with excuses why they shouldn't have taken my phone. I'm gonna be honest, I deserved it, but whatever. I'm bored the rest of the day without my phone. But I'm sitting there, I'm bored, I'm doing my thing, and the end of the day comes and I go to his class and I'm kind of like, hey, can I have my phone back? And this man has the audacity to look me in the eyes and go, what phone? And I'm like, the phone you took from me during class. And he looks at me all confused and he goes, I don't know what phone you're talking about. And at this point, I'm like, are you messing with me? You know, I, I ask him, are you messing with me right now? And he doubles down and he's like, no, I, I don't know what phone you're talking about. And at this point, I'm like, all right, maybe this old man over here has started the mental decline. You know, he's going to stop forgetting how to eat. He's going to start calling his wife weird names. You know, all the mistresses he's ever had. Like, maybe it's the time where the old man's brain is slipping because there's no way he doesn't remember this. So I'm kind of like, come on. I know you have my phone. Like, remember, you took it during class. I was on it. And he looks at me and goes, I really just have no idea what you're talking about. So I'm super confused. But then he he starts like trying to get me out of the classroom he says you know I'm trying to go home so will you please get out of the classroom I'm like no you have my phone I need my phone and he keeps just denying that he has my phone he's like no I don't have it I don't have it I don't know what you're talking about which like you never have felt like a crazy person quite like when somebody has taken something and they just keep denying that they've done it and you're like w uh, am I crazy maybe I never had an Android bro like this dude was actually just gaslighting seventh grade me I was starting to d think about the fact that I might not have actually gotten 
gotten my phone taken away and might have lost it, dude, because he was so adamant that he didn't have it. So whatever, I go home and I'm talking to my parents and I'm kind of like, I have a smartphone, right? I remember distinctly asking my parents just to try to make sure I wasn't a crazy person because the dude had literally made me feel like I was nuts for asking about my smartphone. My mom was like, yeah, you had bought it yourself, da 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 And I'm like, okay, my teacher took it and wouldn't give it back. And my dad's kind of like, well, you know, go into him, tell him it's your property. He took it. You shouldn't be on it in class, but like he needs to give it back. So the next day I, I go in early in the morning and I go into his classroom and I'm like, hey, I really need my phone back. And sure enough, he's like, I don't have it. I didn't take your phone away. And I'm like, dude, you have my phone. I, I, what am I supposed to say in the situation when somebody takes something and then just straight up denies having it? So I'm like, come on, I know you have my phone. And he just won't admit having my phone. So I'm like, I really had no idea what to do. I knew that if I went to the dean's office, I was going to get in more trouble. Because technically, when somebody took your phone away, you were supposed to like go to the dean's office and they had to call your parents and all that stuff. So when he had just confiscated my phone, I knew I was getting lucky. So I was kind of like, didn't really know what to do because I didn't want to get in more trouble. So I decided I was like, look, I'll confront him one more time after school and I'll bring one of my friends and have them call my phone. You know, maybe if it starts ringing, there's no way he can deny having it because I'm not even kidding. This old man, every time I asked him if he had my phone was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I never took it. And if it wasn't for people being like, nah, he took it. I might have thought I was crazy, dude. I'm not going to lie. I've never felt more like a crazy person than when this teacher was just swearing that he had nothing to do with my phone going missing. So after school, I go in and I'm like, dude, I know you have my phone. And he starts to get mad at me. And he's like, for the last time, I had nothing to do with your phone going missing. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, maybe it was another teacher and you don't remember because you're never paying attention to anything anyways. Like he starts getting mad, bro. So I look at my friend. I'm like, will you call it, please? And the look on his face kind of changes. Not enough to like signify that he thinks he's screwed, but enough to let him know that he's nervous. So sure enough, my friend calls my phone number and the phone starts ringing in his pocket, bro. Like the screen lights up, it's ringing, and I'm like, dude, you have my phone. And he's like, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, he's like, no, I don't. And the phone is ringing in his pocket. I'm looking at it. And he's like, oh, I don't I don't have your phone. And he's like, will you guys please leave for a second? I have to take this call. So sure enough, bro, we leave for a second, and we're kind of watching him through the door, and he hangs up the call that is coming from my friend, and he invites us back in, and he's like, oh, once you guys left, I opened my drawer, and it appears that I do have this phone. Is this your phone? And I'm like, yeah, that's my phone. And he's like, oh, silly me. I, I thought it belonged to somebody else. Yeah, sure. Take your phone and go. And I was like, why did you take my phone? And he's like, I, I didn't. That phone was in my desk. I had no idea it was there. Like he really just denied ever taking my phone, bro. I don't know how it got into his desk. My phone magically grew legs, my like version one Android and hopped into my teacher's desk and had nothing to do with ringing in his pocket, dude. Like this teacher was trying to steal my phone. I don't even know what his plan was. It had a password on it. I don't know why he kept it for a whole day. Like, Candy Crush didn't even exist yet. What were boomers doing on iPhones? Actually, I, I don't want to know what he might have been doing on that phone. Lonely old man with an Android that connects to an internet board in the middle of the day? Yeah, no thank you. I would rather not imagine the things that might have happened with that phone. That phone was garbage, though. Like, I'm not even kidding. The battery life, I was lucky if it made it halfway through a school day. That thing was awful. But regardless, Mr. Boomer Man really wanted to steal it, dude. And ever after that, like, for the rest of the year after that, he was always really weird to me. Like, he wasn't mean to me, but he wasn't nice either. Like, he would just give me decent grades, you know? He was he would let me slide on a lot of stuff, but he also, like, made it very clear that if I pushed too hard, there were going to be problems, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, he kind of handed me a get-out-of-jail-free card as long as I didn't push the envelope. So I'm pretty sure he knew that I knew he took it and was just really banking on the fact that I didn't have enough proof, you know? Because, like, really... If I said he took it, I really couldn't prove it. Because, like, he did give it back. You know what I'm saying? He could have just said he forgot it was in his desk. Like, there was really nothing that I could do. But still, I think he was extra nice to me just to try to make sure that I wasn't ever going to go and, like, tell people that he was stealing my phone. But, you know, now I'm telling the entire internet that my boomer teacher really just tried to steal my garbage smartphone. I could understand maybe a little bit more if it was, like, the new iPhone at the time or something. But really, that phone was a piece of garbage. I, I do not know why he wanted it so so badly. Like, in retrospect, I probably could have sold it to him for way more than I paid for it. I, sh I should have done it.
Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought and subscribe and turn on notifications. If you like this video, go ahead and comment the word Android down below. It just helps the video do better in the algorithm and, uh, you know, it lets me know how many of you guys actually get to the end of the videos and if I need to be less boring next time. So I would appreciate it. Other than that, you guys should check out the OG Sub Club merch. Now that the main channel is growing again, I actually think I might be on the way to 2 million. And once we hit 2 million, that merch is going away forever. The 2 million merch is looking pretty fire too, though. I can't even lie. So uh, just letting you guys know about that. Other than that, you can follow me on Twitter at Scrubby underscore 69. My Instagram is just at Scrubby because I'm just that fresh and clean. And uh, yeah, on that note, don't get anyone pregnant. Last thing I'm going to plug is if you like TikTok, I've been uploading a bunch of my old videos on TikTok and parts. And uh, if you want to go support that, it's Scrubby Stories on TikTok. Other than that, that's everything I got to plug. So don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And hopefully I will see you guys all next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.